after decades of fame and fortune and unbridled acquisition, Barbara has a lot of stuff. Who doesn't? But Barbara didn't want some run-of-the-mill basement to keep it all in. No, Barbara doesn't like run-of-the-mill anything, although she does, in fact, run a mill. <laughs> Page 44. <laughs> Barbara wanted something special. Let us quote the relevant passage. I had another idea for this space. Why not do a street of shops like I had seen at Winterthur? Uh, John had to look it up, too. Uh, Winterthur is some decorative arts museum in Delaware. We're supposed to know that. <laughs> in one section of the museum, they recreated all these little stores, a china shop, a country store, just the way they would have looked in the early 1800s. And then they used them to display various collections. Wouldn't it be fun to do something similar? Wouldn't it? <laughs> so that's what she did. <laughs> she built a shopping mall in her basement. <laughs> Remember, this is the part that's real. <laughs>
But watching it again with Barry's Criterion collection of snark as commentary was pretty painful. <laughs> Even in this silly rom-com, Barbara's real agenda kept seeping through in disturbing ways, like an episode of Top Chef hosted by Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara plays Rose, an unattractive but popular professor at Columbia teaching, well, we're not quite sure what she's teaching, but we know she's good at it because she writes Foucault on a blackboard. <laughs> is a spinster living with her withholding mother, sound familiar, played by Oscar nominee Lauren Bacall. But then, her sexy sister, Mimi Rogers, perfect casting. What? <laughs> <laughs> Answers an online ad as her, and Rose ends up in a strictly platonic marriage with Jeff Bridges, clumsy mathematics professor, gamely giving the worst performance of his career. <laughs> Eventually, Rose wants sex. So, she hops on a life cycle for 30 seconds, eats a carrot, and poof, transforms into Claudia Draper, the crazy hooker with a perm in nuts. Barry <laughs> <laughs> points out how all the mind-boggling sexual politics are in play for the last 10 minutes in which she uh, uh, forces every character to apologize to Barbara and tell her how gorgeous she is. And even I had to admit that Lauren recalls bleary-eyed delivery of the speech in which she assures Barbara that she, not Mimi Rogers, was the pretty one had the terrified sincerity of a hostage video. <laughs>